right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have we have Wish Wednesday. That means you wish for songs, and I bring them up here on Wednesdays. And um, yeah, I will just mention right now, just to prepare you, we will soon have a Wish Week. All right, so we had this a while ago, and it was a huge success. I will just prepare you for. Having that in mind, you can uh, wish for songs and we'll have Wish songs here released during a whole week. So we'll come to that uh, later. Uh, I will um, make an exclusive video for that and release that when, when it's time and everything. More info is coming. But anyway, we have Wish Wednesday right now. So we want to highlight you, Oreki401. You wish for this song from Mookie Gang. It's called Let Me Dig My Grave. So this is special for you, Oreki. And uh, yeah, all you fans out there of this type of songs, Mookie Gang, and uh, yeah, uh, similar songs. So we will highlight this song, Let Me Dig My Grave. We're going to do this together with a capo set on the third fret. All right. So with that, we have a couple of chords to go over. I believe there are five different chords. And uh, we also have the melody that is pretty much the main part of the song, but we can use chords to make the strumming as well. So put that cape on third, we'll go over the chords first. We'll start with G and we'll actually use just the bass of the G, so to speak. And that goes third on E string, second on A, open D, open G, open B, and we can stop there, okay? So that is the G, this grip, all right? Next chord is the C major seven. It's very similar to G. You just move this grip one string down, so to speak. And that gives us third on A, second on D, open G, open B, and open E. We have E minor next. And that goes open E, second A, second D, open G, open B, and open E. We have D and we're gonna go with this version of it because we have the melody of these notes. So that will be fifth on A, fourth on D, open G, third B, and open E. And the final chord will be the D F chord. That is basically a D chord but with an F sharp in the bass. And it goes second on E, open A, open D, second G, third B, and open E. All right, so there we have the chords. Now let's go into the melody. So we have this melody that goes pretty much for two rounds. And uh, it starts in the same way. The first half starts always in the same way, but then it's the second half that differs. You're gonna alternate that. One ending in the first round and the second ending in the second round. So we're gonna start with the part um, that goes G, C to G, and that is the part that is always played, no matter what round you're playing. So, starting with G, and the melody goes. So that is third on E string, open G, third B, and open B. That is the first G here in this part. Then you're gonna play the C major, it goes like this. So that is to play third on A together with second D, then open G and open B. And then you play the final G, which is just simple to pick this. And that is to pick third on E string in the bass together with open D and open G. And the pause there, okay? So that is the first part. mistake there but anyway that is the first part then over to the ending here in the first round it's based upon the E minor D and C okay so the E minor part goes so that is open E in the bass then open G then open high E then third B and that is the E minor part. The D part goes like this. 
that is fifth on A together with fourth D, open G, and third B. And then you end with C, a pick like this. And that is to pick third on A together with second D and open G. And the pause. And that is the end of the first round. So we had... This is the part you always play, and then the ending here. That's the ending in the first round. Then you go back and play the part we always play. Again, the C, uh, the G, C, and G. Okay, so... This part. And then we have the second ending here in the second round, and it based upon the D, F chord, and it goes like this. Okay, so that is second on E string in the bass, then open G, and then you're gonna play this part, and it's on the B string, you're gonna play the open B, third B, and back to open B. I do that with a hammer on and pull off technique, so I just pick the first time open B, then a hammer on, on the third B, and I pull off with that finger to get back to the open B. So, Just one pick here to have it more uh, fluently, so to speak. It goes, it flows better. So that is the DF part. And then you go to C and you just pick this. And that is third on A together with second D. And then you pick the last G part here and it goes like this. So that is basically pick the third E string and the bass together with 2nd A and open D. And that is the end of this melody. The second round. So the second round was G, C and G, the part we always play. And then the D, F, C and G. So, one round of this, I will play it for you and um, yeah, let's do it. From the beginning till the very end, there you have your melody. You can also do a clap here. Um, yeah, we'll come to that soon because that means we're gonna look at the strumming first and then build in these claps into the melody. So if we go to strumming now, of course we have the same chord progression and uh, yeah, it just follows the same chords there. So we're gonna look at the, the part the first part and then you're gonna apply the same principle for all, all the other parts then so we're gonna look at G to C and back to G the part we always play here and it goes like this okay so um, yeah you notice we have three chords so to speak in every bar so the first chord, the G now in this case, will be down, down, clap, down. And then you shift chord to the C. And you play the same, down, down, clap, down. But not the last, down. So down, down, clap. So G, down, down, clap, down, C. And then you go to the last chord and play the G now again. You play the down, then down, clap, down. So down, a short pause, and down, clap, down. And then you play another down, down, clap, down, still in the same chord. So the last chord here, the G again, will be down, down, clap, down. And then down, down, clap, down. In the same way as you played the first G there. So, the last G will be... And that is 
the end of um, these three chords. So to repeat, the first G, down, down, clap, down. The next chord, the C in this case, will be a down, down, clap. And then it quickly changed back to the next chord again. This is a G, down, and then down, clap, down. And then down, down, clap, down. So slowly like this. All right, then you apply, like I said, the same principle to the next three chords, and that will be E minor to D to C. So E minor is played in the same way as the first G, the down, down, clap, down. Then you go to D and play the down, down, clap. And then you quickly go to C and play down, down, clap, down, 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 clap, down, like this. Then you go back and play the first part again. And then when you have the second ending, you're gonna play the DF. You're gonna play that in the same way as the first G, down, down, clap, down. Then C, the down, down, clap. And then G, the down, down, clap, down, 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 clap, down, like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna play this for you as well with strumming only and it goes from the beginning till the end like this. So there you have the melody, you have the strumming, and you can also build in this clap into the melody, and you will have to do it a little bit in a freestyle way, uh, way here. So I can play for you what I mean, and then you just uh, do it in your way, like this. guys that's just one example you build in notes where you have them now you're aware of that and then you have the beats and the rhythm going on there and the timing so you have all the tools here to handle Mookie Gangs let me dig my grave this was a special for you or Reiki for a one and uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please uh, leave a comment it would be nice to see if you like this one and all the other fans yeah Give me a like if you like this and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Again, I want to make you aware of Wish Week is coming up pretty soon in about two weeks or so. Uh, I will come with more info soon. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and wish for songs during the time. So yeah, perhaps it's your song next time. All right. Good luck. Have fun and play tuned. <laughs>